championship a woman into WWE. It's pretty monumental. And um, nice. it, I, it really took after the week after to kind of sit back and take it all in and go like, okay, this really did happen because I didn't want to celebrate before the thing because yeah. anything could happen. You know, this is wrestling, like card subject to change. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> it was beautiful. It was uh, to be number 20, which was kind of, you know, ironic because obviously we're celebrating 20 years of impact. Yeah. So to be number 20, and I thought, you know, I went out there and I, I, I wanted to represent Impact. I wanted to represent Mickey James. I wanted to represent Hardcore Country and all of these things. And it just, it was awesome. It was so awesome. And uh, yeah. it was just a cool moment for wrestling, I think, just yeah. for wrestling as a whole, not just women's wrestling, but just, and um, everyone, like it was cool to see my friends backstage and everyone was just so supportive and just amazing. And uh, it was a good night. It was a real good night. And the last time that we spoke, I asked you, uh, you know, if there was anything that you wanted to do that you didn't get to do in your time with WWE. And you said you didn't get to be hardcore country there. And, you know, that finally coming to fruition. I mean, that that is right. that's huge. And I don't think that happens to many people like to get to it go does. back and rewrite your history, you know? So that's- yeah, it's crazy. It's kind of crazy. And this weird. Um, and that was pretty magical because that was one of the things it's like I really would have loved to have presented. And now I have hardcore country to the WWE audience because I really feel like they would have fallen in love with that character and it just didn't make sense stories or whatever to to do it there and I you know even though we talked about it or pitched it uh, but it's it's so weird and, and I think it was also the you know we didn't know or they didn't know or whoever that the audience WWE audience would recognize that character would would kind of lean to that and that showed that they actually really loved it and it was so cool but it was also so cool to see my friends back and to have right. see like the blend of like generations of women who have you know built the foundation onto who are killing it now like kind of yeah. blend together in this night because the rumble was always one of my favorite pay-per-views always it's such yeah. a great pay-per-view even as a fan to watch because there are is that element of surprise um yeah. but that also you know that moment kind of created this uh idea because everyone was like this will never happen in WWE she'll never be able to use her music she'll never be hardcore country there she'll never come out with the championship they'll never acknowledge it and it was all the things that they did do and it was like oh crap this can this is a reality that can actually happen so these other dream matches that I kind of had booked in my head that thought would never happen huh you never know (laughs) 